Hi, this is Erin Brooks with Ernest Vineyards talking to you this afternoon about Alagote, which I happen to have right here in my glass. Alagote, um, some say, is a better conduit for terroir than the beautiful world famous Chardonnay. And not a lot of people know about Alagote because it is in fact um, the sister that never really got to leave the castle in France. World-class Pinot Noir and Chardonnay were exported, but Alagote was always kept at home in France because it was planted down in the valley. It was a village wine, just table wine for um, the French farmers and for the locals. And it was never um, an economically viable enough product to leave. So therefore, as a grape, it never really arrived in California. But starting in 2014, we were able to find a small, small planting of Alagote in Sonoma County up in Bennett Valley, which is a tiny sub AVA. So some of you might recognize that this beautiful white wine and the word Alagote has been in our Edifos packaging for several years now. I think we started in the 14 vintage, maybe in the 15. Um, this was the 17 vintage and it marks the final bottling and packaging of our Alagote under the Edifos label. And Edifos is where we've always um, wanted to explore and learn about um, either different varietals in California or about winemaking techniques. Both came into play here. We definitely explored concrete, stainless steel, whether or not oak barrels were appropriate, et cetera, over all the years. And um, in the 2018 vintage, with the addition of Joseph Ryan to our team as winemaker and partner in our company, he was able to graduate the Alagote through its elegance and its finesse. Now you can see I have this beautiful condensation on this bottle. It's been out of the fridge here for a couple of minutes. But this is the um, aviator in the earnest bottling of our Alagote. One other thing happened in this graduation into 18 vintage, and that is that the vineyard is the same that we've always worked with, but the owners changed. So it went from being named the Barbed Oak Vineyard to the Henry David Vineyard with the new owner. So you'll see that reflected. But just know for you enthusiasts who are following along with our Alagote production that it is in fact the same site. It's the very same plantings, just has new ownership. So kind of a nice dovetail, if you will, for with the new packaging and the graduation to the Ernest label, we were also able to capture this new vineyard name. I um, love the fact that underneath our earnest label, which is all about our single vineyard Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs, and sometimes we refer to it as our Burgundian label, that we have been able to graduate the third grape of Burgundy to it. It is a gorgeous white wine. I'll let Eugenio tell you more about the tasting notes, but um, until then, I hope you can enjoy it in your home, and cheers. Joseph Ryan, Ernest Vineyards here. Uh, today we're talking about Aligote. Uh, this particular vineyard is in Bennett Valley, which is a small valley um, along with some hills that is southeast of Santa Rosa, uh, Sonoma County. It is um, an alluvial, uplifted alluvial benchland, so I think rocks, uh, stones, kind of like uh, riverbed, but it's up at elevation uh, with clay and volcanic subsoils. Very well drained in the top um, surface, which uh, these grapes love. Um, it's a uh, we're working with Calera clone on this which is a really um, special clone that comes from Halster uh, from the famed Calera vineyard there um, so uh, when we're picking this we kind of look at the chemistry um, we look at when the flavors are there and pick it so um, with respect to it being a lighter wine um, but we're still trying to coax some flavors out of it uh, so in the in the cellar we don't use any new oak on this um, to just allow the grape to show through, to allow the site to show through, and um, it goes through a very kind of slow, somewhat cool um, primary fermentation, which is the sugar converting to alcohol. Uh, that's with using native yeast and then a really elongated malolactic fermentation. Um, and then we will bottle this just before the following harvest. Um, and so this is. The 2018 was the inaugural vintage as an earnest wine. For those of you who know our Edifos label, it was there as well. Um, so we're really excited to move uh, another Burgundian varietal in with the Pinot and the Chard, and um, we hope you enjoy it. It's a, it's really a nice, um, 
lighter wine, but can really is stand up to a lot of different foods, and we're really happy with it. Cheers. Hello, this is Eugenio with Ernest Vineyards, and I'm here today tasting our new release of Aligote. Um, this bottling is called the Aviator, and I find it so interesting because Aligote has always been nicknamed the poor man's white burgundy because it's the second most planted grape in Burgundy, uh, second most planted white grape. Um, and it's often used for their sparkling wines for the Cremant de Bourgogne, but I've the rare bottlings that have come across my table, I've enjoyed immensely. As a sommelier, I was always looking for an alternative to um, Burgundy, which the prices can be a little prohibitive. So uh, Aligote was always this go-to because of its bracing uh, youthfulness and acidity and freshness. It has a lot of bright lime, lemon, uh, fresh apples uh, qualities, which makes it a very, very good food pairing wine. And I also like to sip it because it's quite refreshing. Delicious. It's a typical, it's a typical grape variety that is um, suited for cold weather, uh, reason why it's planted widely over uh, Eastern Europe. There's almost none to be found in California and very little in the New World altogether. So I highly recommend the Aviator Aligote as a great classic example of the grape variety. Cheers.